Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. I just talked to somebody last night who watches my channel and he was saying that he has string algae starting to grow on his substrate. And basically his aquarium is set up the same way as my 90 gallon. And uh, he's using the same substrate, basically the same. Uh, the uplift tube is the Lee's uplift tube. He's using the, the one inch high plates and everything. And uh, he turned his lights down to uh, six hours a day because he was having an algae problem. And he says, now he's starting to get this hair algae, string algae, hair algae. And it's even growing on top of a substrate. And I, I said, well, I have the exact same system as you. And I got no string algae or anything on top of my substrate. And I said, uh, in fact, the Lanai Goldfish Aquarium, the lights are on for 14 hours a day. And even then, I don't have the algae growing like that. And I said, however, the goldfish tank you're looking at here, I said, I do have algae, string algae growing on the bottom of it. And it, it got as long as over two inches. I said, so what I did is I purposely trying to grow it for the goldfish. And I said, uh, not only that, but uh, I uh, have no substrate. And when they weren't really eating it that much, I decided to only feed them like once a day. I said I cut back on the amount of food I was feeding them to only one feeding per day. And then they seemed to get hungry enough to start eating the hair algae. That's here that you see on the bottom here. And of course, this looks like grass, right? But the goldfish have actually munched it down to look like that because they only get one feeding a day. I said, so I made them a little hungrier. I said, now, I have no substrate, yet I'm getting hair algae. I said, you have a substrate that matches my substrate and my 90-gallon, but you're getting hair algae. I said, you know, the only thing I can think of that's really different between the two aquariums is the lighting. I said, with this particular tank, it not only gets sunshine, but I said, I put on uh, light bulbs from the hardware store. I think they could be daylight. They're clear. And I also added the fluval. And the fluval is set at uh, full spectrum. So that uh, means all the blues turned up 100%, all the reds, all the all the white light, everything. Everything's turned up to 100%. I said the lights come on at 8 o'clock. The two light bulbs that I bought that are from the hardware store, they're clear. And I said then the fluval light comes on about at noon. So it's on right now. I said, so I do this to promote algae so the goldfish can eat it. And it's growing hair algae. Because he was saying, well, maybe there's something with the substrate. I said, yeah, but I'm growing it too, and I have zero substrate. All I have is glass. So how is the algae that you see here, how is it capable of growing just on glass with zero substrate. I said, it's got to be the lighting. Because I'm purposely trying to grow algae and hair algae. As you can see, it's on the uh, uplift tube. It's on the exit tube. Uh, because this, this now, it's summertime. I'm not getting direct sunlight. I'm getting indirect sunlight. But... I know that's going to help, but uh, 
It's got to be the lighting, I said. Because with all the other aquariums that I'm using, whether it be the 90-gallon or uh, goldfish aquarium, all the lighting has been adjusted with the blues being only like 5% and reds being maybe, uh, I've knocked down the red maybe 75% or more, even 80% on those two spectrums. I said, uh, can you change the spectrum of your aquarium lighting. And uh, he said, yeah, he thinks he can do it. But, you know, I had another guy up in um, New York. He had some lighting, very expensive lighting. And uh, it was growing algae. And he fine-tuned it, but he didn't like it. The color, the, the the algae growth he was getting. I've showed his aquarium several times. And finally, he traded those lights in because they were relatively new. And he got uh, Kessel Tuna Suns. And I've shown his aquarium several times. And, and I've shown you his aquarium. Not only that, but he has no algae or something. And I said, you know, it could be just something as simple as lighting. Hobbyists are buying lighting, and the lighting is promoting the algae growth. I said, I'm trying to promote it. That's why you see this green grass at the bottom of the aquarium growing on top of the glass. There's no substrate. It's a nice lawn. I said, it was longer, but as you could see, the fish keep pulling on it and, and keeping it short. I said, and you're starting to get it. You, did you ever think it just could be your lighting? Because you're doing everything I did, except your lighting is different. That's the only thing. So I'm doing this video because this is really a call out to the people watching my channel. Give me your feedback. Because I'm purposely in this 20 gallon trying to grow the algae. I'm using cheap light bulbs from the hardware store, which are uh, daylight. And I'm using the Fluvo light at uh, full spectrum and pounding the aquarium with this light. And I notice that some of these. Uh, Light bulbs that you buy, they're LED light bulbs that you buy at the hardware store. Like I said, they're not the same as the old ones that were a few years ago. They're, they're seen to be different now. The LEDs are longer instead of little LED uh, chips. And uh, I said, I found out that when I turned those lights on, it promoted algae versus if you use the higher tech light like a fluvo and you knock out the blues and reds. I said, I, I kind of noticed that. I said, do you really, you know, it could be just a matter of your lighting. So I want, uh, I want you to give me your feedback. Did you run across a problem like that where you were using one kind of lighting and you were getting algae growth so you decided that, hey, I don't like this lighting, like the guy up in New York went with Kessels and show you pictures of his aquarium and no algae problems because Kessels can be fine-tuned to the way you want. And the suggestions that they give on uh, how to set the Kessel lighting, the Tuna Suns, and how I set my lighting, have you ran into this problem? You know, are you having a problem with algae and it could be just a matter of lighting and nothing else, whether your lighting's on too long or whether the spectrum of lighting is causing you to have algae problems? Because I couldn't figure out why he's having problems if he did everything exact and he even turned his lighting down to only six hours a day why is he promoting this hair algae? And he kind of thought, well, it's probably from the substrate. I said, yeah, but I'm growing hair algae, as you can see in this aquarium, on glass. But I'm purposely trying to grow it. I said, so 
what the gla the glass is releasing nutrients and therefore the hair algae is growing on it i said you know that doesn't make sense the glass is not going to produce any nutrients if there was a substrate here i would say yeah the substrate could be producing nutrients and the algae would use it as a food source but the algae here is just being stuck to the aquarium glass like we all get right yeah, we have to clean our aquarium glass every so often because algae sticks to it. I said, but on the bottom of this tank, I left it. Don't even clean it. And I make sure it grows. So let me know, please let me know, if you have found that lighting was a culprit in growing algae in your aquarium. Something as simple as that. The spectrum you're using Maybe the manufacturer that you're using, that if you went with a, uh, a better manufacturer like uh, a Kessel lighting or uh, some of the lighting that I have suggested to use, the 120s, that did this solve your problem with having algae? And you found out that after you switched, you don't get the algae. A simple thing of lighting. The lighting was promoting the algae growth and now it's beginning to be a problem. So leave me a comment if you have found that lighting does promote algae and you had to maybe change it and you found out once you changed it your problems were solved. 